So I'm here with my best friend Hi. and we're gonna do a natural tag video. I was not tagged, but <laughs> we're gonna do it anyway. Um, we're not even gonna do a lot of questions. We just picked seven that we really like and we're just gonna talk about it and hopefully it's entertaining to you <laughs> or somebody. It will be, whatever. <laughs> so, first question is, why did you start your hair journey and how long have you been natural? Well, I started my hair journey kind of on accident. I hadn't had a perm in like six months. <laughs> and I was wearing a lot of weave, like back to back. I would get it taken out and I would get it put back in. And by the time I got it taken out the very last time, I was like, I might as well just go natural. Like I haven't had a perm in like almost a year. So I just didn't get one anymore. And that was in 2010. So it's almost five years in November. Yep. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I didn't I don't know. I didn't it didn't happen like that. It was more deliberate. You were so against it at first. I was. <laughs> she I was loved very, the creamy crack. Very anti natural. <laughs> A lot of people wanted me to go natural and I was just like, no. But it got to the point where like my hair would not grow past shoulder length yeah and like my hair grows really fast and it would be nice and then it would break off yeah. and i had to cut it again and it was just like what yeah what you I had really thick hair too yeah even when you didn't get the perm i didn't get a perm until i was eighth grade graduating eighth grade mm -hmm. my mother did not but was it or was it high school because mm. you were getting the press in eighth grade it was after eighth grade but before high school mm -hmm. so i'm I didn't even have a perm in long in my life, actually. But I had I don't even remember not having a perm. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> my mama, I came out the womb and she was just like, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Just kidding. Well, yeah, I don't when I did go natural it was because my hair would not grow. Mm -hmm. I was in college and I didn't have anybody I trusted to keep my perm up anyway. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to a new shop, it's like sixty dollars every six to seven weeks. Yeah, this is expensive. I couldn't do it, I'm way too cheap for that. I would rather buy clothes, so <laughs> I just stopped getting it. And that was, how long ago was that? Almost two, was it two years ago? Yeah, it was almost two When years you graduated, ago. right? Yeah. It was before you graduated. So 2012, 2000. Yeah, no, 13. So this is coming up on two years. Wow, I know. Making a journey. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Time flies when your hair is natural. Right. What is the natural hair scene like in your city? Well, I live in Vegas. So every now and then I do run into a lot of people that have natural hair and we just kind of give each other the nod like yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a lot of people I've actually had like a number of times people will stop me like, "Girl, what products do you use?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Girl, go to Sally's." That never gets old. It never gets old. <laughs> Even yesterday when I was at Walgreens out here, somebody's like, "Have you used Eco Styler?" I was like, "Yeah, get this one." <laughs> oh wow, wow. But I mean, it's so dry in Vegas, so I think a lot of natural people actually do uh, a lot of protective styles. But yeah, it's a lot of natural people out there. We gotta stick together out there. <laughs> Here, I don't know. I'm we live. I'm in Chicago. We're in Chicago, and I mean, I don't know. I feel like I see it a lot, and I don't know if it's because I'm natural, so I'm looking for it. Exactly. But a lot of people, like especially on the train going to work, I see people with TWAs all the time, mm -hmm. and people on the train. I'm just like, how do you get your hair to curl like that? Yep. So I'm just like, oh, go look at my blog. It's Shameless like a little. Blog. It's like a little community. <laughs> yeah. It's so cute, and then like even people that aren't natural or other races, they'll just stop me. Just like, I just love your hair. Yeah. Like this one lady stopped me on the strip, and she was just, I just love everything about you right now. It's like, <laughs> thanks. Lady. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know you, but thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <myself>. Right. <laughs> That's funny. I do get a lot of compl compliments about it, though. Like, Especially on bad hair days. It makes yeah. me feel so good about myself. Yes. I feel like on the worst hair days, people come to me like, oh, your fro is so nice. I'm just like, it's so nice. <laughs> like, if you only knew it's what I so went nice through. right now, but thank you. <laughs> like, you should have saw me two days ago. Right. <laughs> 
Um, what's your favorite product? Probably Shea Moisture. I use either I use Shea Moisture a lot and uh, Eden. I think it's called Eden. Yeah, Eden Body Works. Something. I, yeah, I think that's what it's called. And I really like that. Their co-wash is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I really like their styling cream. And I always use coconut oil, of course. It's my go-to. I've been wanting to try that. I just haven't got one. The Eden? You should. I like it. I actually like the Eden better than Shea Moisture. Like, I, I always the coke the curling enhancing smoothie. Mm -hmm. That one I that's the only one that I really. It's ever honestly use. like hit or miss. Like sometimes I'll have like the perfect twist out with Shea Moisture, and I'm like I'm gonna keep using it. And then sometimes <laughs> I'm like, why do I keep using this? I know. <laughs> that's why I just stop. I pretty much use Cantu. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, I the love Cantu. Coconut curling cream and the leave-in conditioner. Mm -hmm. And now I'm on the shampoo and conditioner. I'm just, I'm a Cantu oh, yeah. girl. <laughs> I've been meaning to get some. I should have yeah. got some yesterday instead. I got Hello Hydration because I have that at home. Oh, yeah. That's I needed awesome. to replenish and they had a sale at Walgreens. Yeah. So. <laughs> I use Hello Hydration consistently for like a year yes. and a half. And it smells so good. Like, I just love when people just be like, you smell good. What is that? I was like, it's probably my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so anything that smells like coconut, I'm with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what's your go-to style? The puff. the puff. I love my puff. <laughs> A puff has saved my life yes. on so many occasions. Whenever my hair, like whenever I'm having a bad hair day, I just put it up in a puff, yep. go, and I don't even worry about it no more. The only issue that I have with a puff now is that like my hair is getting longer and like if I if my twist out is too stretched, my puff will look weird. Yeah. And then if it's not stretched out enough, it looks like flat. Yeah. It looks now it looks <laughs> very compact <laughs> and like solid. <laughs> It'll be big in the front and then in the back it's just yes, like, it's just like, like that. <laughs> it's so terrible. It's the worst thing ever. And I just be walking around like I know people think this look crazy. Like it has to look crazy. Sometimes I just be like, I just need to get to work. Right. <laughs> it is a puff, but my, I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm wearing a twist out. I've been trying to stay stay away from the puff too, because I don't want to like stretch, like break off my edges. Yeah. Once they started growing back and stuff. Yeah. So I might have to find another go-to style. You gotta keep them edges. <laughs> I have to keep them edges. I Very don't want them to be snatched. For a black girl. <laughs> um, um. Would you ever get a perm? No. Under no circumstances? Probably not. I think we talked about like with the short haircuts. Yeah. But I think I want to like get like super short haircut. Like. I feel like if I ever got a pixie A cut, super teeny weeny fro. Yeah. But. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like. I feel like if I got a perm it would be because I had a short like pixie cut. Mm -hmm. But if I ever grew that out I would also grow a perm now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would ever have long permed hair anymore. Yeah. Mom I have a picture of my mom and she has like this super short haircut and she's it's like dyed blonde. And I'm like, maybe when I turn thirty <laughs> just right. chop I never so I never did a big chop, so I might wanna do a big chop when I turn thirty. <laughs> yeah, I mean and I dye like, it blonde. I feel like everybody should do a big chop at some point. It's a very freeing Yes, but you really get to know yourself. Yeah. And like now I look back at some pictures and I'm just like, ooh, I was bald. <laughs> <laughs> and you hair. always had a head full of hair I ever had since long I hair. met you. That was the shortest my hair's ever been. And it was. And my head, I remember, my, I was like, ooh, my head's longer than yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, protective styles, how do you feel about them? I am pro prote protective styles. Yep. However, I feel like if you're natural, then you should have your natural hair out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of being natural if you always have weaves and stuff? And you don't get to really experience like the beauty of your own hair. Mm -hmm. So when I get tired of my hair, I always I always want to do a protective style, but only when I'm tired of it and I can't deal with it anymore. Yeah. Not as like an alternative to my hair. I always want to do protective styles, but I could never make them last long enough for them to be effective. <laughs> which is really sad. I keep mine in forever. 
And then when I take them out, my hair grows a lot. Well, it has grown a lot. I want to, I would, I don't know. I like being able to get to my scalp though. Yeah. So I, I think I like braids better than weed. I have, the box braids are really yeah. good. And especially because like, I don't know if you feel like this, but since I've become natural, straight hair looks weird on me especially like I don't, bone straight I don't, I'm not a fan people like it on me but I get too tired of it yeah I be like okay I'm ready for my hair and then like it stretches my hair out way too much like I feel like my hair is almost getting damaged and I don't like even stretch it that much yeah. no I mean like wearing straight weave oh yeah no yeah it's just I don't know. I'm used to big hair and if it's just too flat, mm -hmm. I don't feel like myself anymore. Everybody has straight hair, gotta be different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so our last question is, how has your natural hair been received by, you know, others, co-workers, friends, lovers? My mom loves it. My mom is always playing in my hair. She'd be like, Ooh, you should just do it. Like, Mama, stop touching my hair. <laughs> but my mom loves it. My dad always has jokes about it, talking about you need to do your natural and stuff like that. He's been saying that my whole life. But um, coworkers, they love it. They're always like, oh, your hair is always different every time I see you. I'm like, it's just different to you. <laughs> it's the same hair right. to me. But I mean, it's generally well received, and if it's not, and I don't really care. So that's true. It's so my you, hair. <laughs> you never had anybody just like, why did you do that? No. Well, I, I mean, I'm in Vegas, and people just are like mystified by. That's true. <laughs> the people that I live near, they're mystified by anything that's not straight. Yeah. <laughs> Mine. For the most part, like everybody, like you said, my coworkers love my hair. Mm -hmm. And most people that I encounter love my hair. It's just at the beginning, yeah. people were just like, mm, sure, that's what you want to do. Exactly. Because it was always like my hair, because I have really, really thick hair. And everybody's just like, your hair is too thick. You're not going to be able to handle it. Exactly. Like, you can't be natural. What are you talking about? And then, like, my boyfriend didn't want me to big chop but <laughs> he could tell it was something that was on my soul I had to cut the perm off and right he, he's been supportive the whole time yeah and most dudes are not like that so I really appreciate it he's just like if you're gonna have an afro you need to rock it <laughs> be confident with your afro mm -hmm. you have stuff. yeah you have, so <laughs> but for the most part yeah everybody's been supportive but in the beginning people were just looking at me kind of crazy like what? Why did you do that? Why did you cut your hair off in the bathroom seat? <laughs> <laughs> so you just decided to do that? Okay. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> so yeah, that's our tag. Yeah. That's our little hair journey. Yeah. <laughs> this was fun. It was. I learned some new stuff about you. <laughs> <laughs> that you didn't already know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, well thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Had a pair of black and white.